already filmed parts of this video without my sound on, I literally have a note here in front of me that says turn mic on. That needs to have like a blinking thing on it because it is not, it's not violent enough. It's not helping me. I recently filmed a video where I was trying out other creators hate products. The products that they mentioned in their worst makeup, worst beauty of 2023. And I just went out and I did a full face of that and just talked about like the reason why we could disagree on stuff. So we're going to do the flip side today. I'm going to be talking about the products that Crater mentioned as the best products of 2023. And I'm going to do a full face and I'm going to start with foundation. And I really was excited to see that other creators were mentioning this as the favorite product of 2023 because I agree, but I forgot to mention them in my video. I know I never do that. I'm like one of those like really organized YouTubers that really like collect notes. I do stuff throughout the year to get my favorite products of the year. And I forgot to mention the Fenty East Drop Stick. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful foundation. And the Nessa Myrick Skin Tint. This one was a favorite of Tina from the Fancy Face, Amanda from Makeup Just for Fun, and Heather Austin. And I love this one. It is just a fresh, I want to say like a light, maybe not a sheer coverage. It's definitely a little bit more than a sheer coverage, but it's definitely a light coverage. This is the second time I'm putting the skin tint on. Did I have to wipe it off and start again? Yes. Light coverage, very fresh looking, just looking like you have like really nice hydrated skin and it looks not like matte, but also it's not too dewy and it doesn't break up on my skin. And I just think that this is an absolutely wonderful product. I do have a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of tan left on my hands. So it's good that this foundation is just a smidge darker. Also, I painted my nails. This is my normal nails. I painted my nails with nail polish and it stained my nails yellow. Now it looks like I've been smoking since I was 12. Like, I don't know what soap is. It's the nail polish, okay? I mean, I will say the finish of this is just spectacular it just looks so fresh just looks so fresh looks so beautiful i haven't tried like a lot of products from Vanessa Myricks, but i have tried quite a few and i will say i'm just really impressed with her brand she is going on this like thin line between being for makeup artists and being for us like common peasants and i really feel like she's been nailing it with the brand and being able to do stuff that's just really good to use even though it comes from like a very creative makeup artist kelly gooch mentioned the flower beauty concealer so i'm gonna use this one but can i say the concealer that everybody actually mentioned is the Natasha Denona one, I decluttered mine. And I feel like when I started seeing that, I'm like, wow, every, every influencer is mentioning that concealer, except me. I decluttered mine. I was like, uh, am I like missing something? Like, <laughs> because I thought that that concealer was just a little heavy on my under eyes. And I felt like no matter how little I used, no matter how little I used, it ended up creasing on me even when I said it. And it just wasn't my favorite. It looked creasy and it just ended up looking a little bit too heavy on me in too little of a time. I mean, if a concealer doesn't look amazing on me after eight hours, I'm like, okay, like you did what you were supposed to do up until here. But, but with the Natasha Denone, I felt like it, even if I like set it with a lot of powder, it started looking pretty rough already for like three hours. This one is a really good concealer and I mean I did keep it. It is a little bit more on the creamy side so definitely like less is more but with this one if I do set it with powder I don't really have a lot of problems with it creasing or going all over the place and it just shows that it's okay if you don't like something that everybody else likes because the whole beauty community everyone seems to agree that the Natasha Denona concealer is amazing. And I don't feel like just because I don't like it, I don't feel like I'm incorrect. It just was too heavy for my super, super thin under eyes. And it just wasn't perfect for me. I am 40 years old. I did see that everybody in different age brackets were loving it, but I'm 40 years old and I do have a lot of fine lines in my under eyes. Maybe I have even more fine lines than other people my age. And then it just like, it is what it is. I think this looks great though. I am gonna be using the Lunar Beauty powder. This one was a favorite by Ellie Dawson and Angela Bright. Oh my God, I was writing down the people that had, uh, so crazy, the people that had the Natasha Denona concealer as a favorite. Kelly Gooch, 
Tati, Nikola Rose, Andrea Matilano, Leia Janay, Angela Bright, Risa Does Makeup, Jen Phelps, Heather Austin, and Amy Loves Makeup. Literally everyone but me. Do you know of any other influencers or any other creators but me who did not appreciate that one? Because I feel like I saw everybody liking it. And it's not like I hated it. I just didn't think it was like the right one for me. And I would just not be reaching for that one over other concealers. So I gave it away. But am I the only one? Am I like the only, only one? I really do like the Lunar Beauty Powder. One thing I will say with the Lunar Beauty Powder is that it works the best with foundations that are not super dewy because it will with time give you a little bit more of a not glowy result, but it doesn't keep you like matte matte. If you're looking for powder to keep you matte matte, the Huda Beauty one is really good. Also, um, One Size is really, really good for that. And we will actually be using another product from One Size, but those powders are good for like keeping you matte matte. This is a powder that I think that overall, the people that I've seen enjoying this powder has been both people with oily skin and people with dry skin because it does keep you matte, but it's not the most mattifying powder. I did some brows, but we are gonna do some lippies. I, the trouble I had to go through to get this lip liner, and I definitely have like a hair stuck to my lip. This is from Iconic London, and I really enjoy Iconic London. I actually mentioned a product from them in my yearly favorites, and this is the Fuller Pout Sculpting Lip Liner, and this was a favorite of Risa. Uh, does makeup and she has really good recommendations and when she recommended this one I wanted to try it but the places that normally sell Iconic London was not selling this lip liner so I had to get it from Revolve which was like okay but not where I normally buy makeup but I gotta say I love buying clothes though from Revolve I got this one in Material Girl and it seems to be a really nice lighter brown. Mmm, the consistency is very nice. It is like creamy, like non-tuggy, but not like greasy oily. Because I feel like sometimes some lip liners, they're like too pigmented. Hmm, I see why she likes this. I will say, I think I got the lightest color. And I usually like to wear a lip liner that's even lighter than this one, but still on the brown side. But... That's actually a really nice formulation. I am very sure I'll get good use out of that. This one, my friend Ellie Dawson has been like, why have you not tried? Why have you not tried the, I think it's Yummy, Yummy Gloss by CoverGirl. So I got the one that was described as an orange. Although I will say when you looked at the swatches of these glosses, I feel like every one of them looked exactly the same. But clearly I got the one that was orange because I love orange cheeks. I love orange lips. I love orange eye makeup too, but not as much as I love like yellow and blue eye makeup. But ooh, that smells like a very artificial like candy, like fruit candy, I should say. Okay, that's just clear on the lips, but okay. You know what? Mm. Mm hmm. That's really nice. I do wish it had a little bit more tint to it. Very glassy, shiny. Not bad. I dug up the House Labs powder bronzer so rude. From my collection, I really like this one. It's survived the clutter. And this was Nikki LaRose, one of her favorite bronzers of the year. And I gotta say, this is a really nice bronzer. Oh, let me get a brush for it. I don't know why I don't use it even more. I think it is the color that makes it like not just perfect for me. I have it in light level four, which is a nice color. But I like the one from Fenty. The powder bronzer from Fenty just has the perfect color for me. And also the uh, bronzer that I got from Give Beauty is like, I like it even more. But this is nice. It has a nice like uh, buildable color to it. So I definitely can see how this can be someone's favorite if you get like the right color for you shortly. What is one product that you bought out of a recommendations from like yearly favorites from a um, creator that really worked out for you where you're like, oh, you were correct about this one. It is definitely a bomb product. Would love to hear about that. I feel like this lip liner might be something that I use a lot.
I was so excited when I saw that both Heather Austin and Michelle Wong had the Say Glow Sculpt. That's what it's called on their yearly favorites. I really, really enjoyed this one too, and I'm so happy to be digging it out and using it again. This one is in Peach Glow, which is a peach with a, it's like a little bit of a mix between a mousse and a cream formula. I use it with my Singe F07, which is just a nice brush, either for any kind of a powder or putty or cream formulas, because it picks up and you're able to like blend and build it up. But I think that this one is a glowy formula with a little bit of sheen into it without being like too shimmery. Because I realized that what I like when it, oh, I like a shimmery formula that's like straight up like a shimmery highlighty situation. Although sometimes it's really nice with something like this that you can be a little bit more subtle with, but at the same time it does have some glow to it because I don't like a flat cheek on me. I know other people like a matte blush, but it's just not for me. But this is a really, really nice, nice product. I have been hearing my friend Heather Austin talk about this a lot, but also I saw that this was a favorite of Amanda Makeup Just For Fun and I knew it was time. I do not use a lot of products by Too Faced on my channel and this is the Too Faced Moon Crush Highlighter. I got it in the shade Shooting Star and this one came out this year and I feel like it felt like it's like a little bit under the radar, but when I was in LA with Heather, or was it? I was somewhere with Heather and she's like, you need to try it. It is so beautiful. She was like, this is one of my favorite highlighter formulas. <gasps> like using the same brush as I did before. Ooh, cause she was like, this gives that beautiful like glow on the skin that looks very visible, but without being like a stripe. It has this beautiful, I agree, transparent base, and it does look wet. Oh, that is so pretty. I love a highlighter that has a transparent base, but just looks very intense without having a base, so it doesn't look like a stripe. Because I feel like sometimes really intense highlighters, they have a way of looking like an eyeshadow on your cheeks, and I don't want that. Okay, that is actually insanely beautiful. And I can just keep putting on more and more. Ooh. I think we need even more shades in these two faces. Like, I, I, we need a full range because there are two shades. There is one that's lighter and one that's darker. And again, since it has a transparent base, um, as soon as something has a more transparent base, they stretch over quite a lot of skin tones. But I want like a peach. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, setting spray. This is when one size comes in, and this is uh, not only a favorite of my friend Ellie Dawson, this is also a favorite by Juicy Jazz and Too Much Mouth, and this is the one size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. This one became so viral, and it's one of those aerosols. Very nice. And it just sets your makeup and makes it foolproof. You're going outside for the entire day. You're going to a nightclub. You're going to a festival. It's a little bit like moist outside, a little bit damp outside. This is the one I a million percent agree. It's really beautiful. This doesn't even have to be necessarily for just oily gals. I mean, I'm oily combo. This definitely does help out. But if you're just like, I need my makeup to look good for the entire day. This is the one. Isn't this the one that went viral because Beyonce used it during her concerts? If it's good enough for Beyonce, it is good enough for us peasants. We are gonna go into eyeshadow and I am gonna mix two different palettes. And I feel like a lot of people that do more mainstream reviews that don't talk that much about indie makeup, they all pretty much agree that the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude was a beautiful palette and I agree. Color-wise, for me, this is a neutral palette. For some people, it leans a little cool. For some people, it leans a little warm. It depends on your undertone, on how these are gonna appear on your skin. Some of these are gonna look cool tone on me, but these are gonna look a little bit more like peachy, neutral on me. It just depends on your skin tone. But a lot of people have this as their favorite. Nicola Rose, Samantha March, Lauren May Beauty, Andrea Matlano, Risa This Makeup, Michelle Wong, like the list goes on. 
But two people also mentioned this one as their favorite. Amy Loves Makeup and Steph's Beauty Stash mentioned the Blemony Cosmetics Sugar and Grunge. And I was like, <laughs> say less. Let's do something with this one too. So I'm just gonna do some eye primer and I'm gonna figure out what we are gonna do. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. I wanna do something with the purples on my lower lash line and I'm gonna use this one on the lid. Okay, and then I'm gonna do some of these, I think this one together with this one in the crease, right? I feel like that's gonna be really good. So this one is vague, you can't see anything. And I'm gonna do that because it's pretty close to this top that I just bought, by the way. I made an order from Cezanne. I think that's how you pronounce it. It is a French brand and I've never bought anything from them before, but I've always wanted to try something and it was finally time to try something from Cezanne and I'm so excited about this. That was not a clean brush. And I bought this top and I also bought like a green suede pencil skirt and it was so cool, loved it. So there's one that's called Wit down here and I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna blend the edges with that one. And I feel like this is gonna go so well with this top. I'm gonna do the dark brown silhouette a little bit out here. I, can you tell that it's a little muddy here? I think I used a brush that had some, <laughs> some green on it. Um, that did not mix well with the peach, but we'll put some dark brown over it and everything will be a-okay. Just squint a little bit and it'll be, be fine. I feel like my blending is not the best today. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because I'm using dirty... We all know it's because I'm using dirty brushes. Like I'm trying to excuse this somehow. Let's dive into the purples. I'm gonna be using this entire row right here plus this one here that's called Yawbreaker. Should we start with that? I think we're gonna start with that. Oh, it's so pretty. I do need to spray this though because I have a sneaking suspicion that it's not gonna stick to the mats otherwise. Oh my God, my dog is here. Let's not, let's not spray my poor dog. And ooh, I think this is gonna be so cute. And then the purples on the lower lash line. I am just gonna slap the purples on. <laughs> this is the middle purple, and I guess middle purple in the middle? <laughs> Dark purple, light purple, right? Can I do this in the inner corner too? This is baby tea, this is the, the light. Maybe we'll do it like this, right? I am really liking this color combo. If you have the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude, try these peaches with some purples. You don't have to have these exact palettes, but like this turned out to be a really cute combo. And the dark purple is called Moody. Is that not the cutest ever? <gasps> Stop. That's so cute. I wanna use the Fan Fest. I saw several people have this one as a favorite. This is from Benefit, and this is Rachel Palmieri's Samantha March Jen Loves favorite, and I am so excited. I saw this one being released, and I will say, I, ooh, this packaging. I will say, I'm a big fan of Benefit uh, mascaras. They're usually really, really nice. I will say this one has a little bit of a bigger tube. Oh. Brush is what this is. Okay, it's not overly wet. That looks good though, which is nice with these like bigger bristles brushes so you don't get it like everywhere. Well, let's zoom in so I can actually show you. I just, I like being here. I like being like the full thing, but let me zoom in that you can actually see something. I'm excited to try out a new mascara. Last time I tried out a new mascara, I was trying out, I think the Tower 28 and it's a recent favorite. I, it's such a good mascara. I think for the lower lash line, that looks absolutely incredible. Look at this makeup. I'm sorry that I didn't zoom in, but I like being back there filming. Look at this makeup. I 
look absolutely smashing. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna use, I got this one from Tower 28, I think. Yes, Tower 28. I hope they sell this one because this is my favorite. Now, since I got it, this is my favorite like lash curler. It's really, really nice. Definitely recommend it. I don't know if they sell it, but if they do, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Oh my God, the Sephora sale is soon as well. What are you interested in getting? I don't really have anything on my list, except I wanna get a perfume, I think. So let's see how this one is on. I really like how the brush is grabbing on and I like that we get product on the lashes without the brush feeling incredibly wet. Okay. And I mean, this mascara is the favorite of my editor that is editing this video. So better not be lying to me, girlfriend. <laughs> Okay, so this is with like two layers of mascara. It is very, very, very impressive, but it's not really as elongating as some of the other mascaras that I have. So I like it, but I don't know if it's gonna be like a favorite, but I do like it. Have you tried this mascara? Like, do you like it? Please let me know. I mean, there's a big difference between like before and after. Like I can see that too. I mean, the more I look at it, the more I'm like, huh. That is pretty impressive, right? I'm gonna try it out a little bit more. It's definitely in the category of I do not regret buying it. That's where I'm at, um, for sure. I am gonna put on a little bit of a half lash though. Oh, and I'm gonna use, where do I have it? Oh my God, here, ah, E, this one. A pen from ColourPop. This one is in Spring Break. I'll use that in my waterline. Not gonna lie, I look so good. <gasps> I need to text my husband and say that we're going out, we're doing something. I got this new top, the makeup is looking fierce, everything is looking so good. I did not have a single bad product. The only thing where I'm like, this isn't my favorite, or like not even like, you saw which ones were my favorite. I mentioned them in my like yearly favorites. This isn't my favorite color and that's usually why I don't use it. The formula is great though. If you find a color you like in this Lady Gaga formula, you will love it. I wish that this one had a little bit more color. It's very, very clear. I do like a transparent gloss. I don't like opaque glosses. I just wish it had a little bit more color. That would have been really, really pretty. The highlighter is so good. The eyeshadow, the foundation, everything is so nice. I will say if we are going out and doing something, I will probably powder a little bit more because this one, as you can tell, it looks super fresh and nice, but it is warm again in Texas. And if I need this makeup to stay on all night, I probably will need to go in with even more makeup from something else. <gasps> My neighbors are going to the pool. It's official. Someone has been by the pool. That means that I can be by the pool too. <gasps> that made me so excited. Just stop me in my tracks. She just went by in her bikini. Winter's over, spring is here, summer is here. I'm ready. I'm gonna dig up my bikini after this. <gasps> So excited. I will leave information about all the things that I'm wearing down below in the description box in case you were interested. I will say this was a very bomb lineup and it tells me that even though I don't always agree with the people that I'm watching when it comes to beauty products, a lot of the time I actually do. And these are all honestly really good products. None of them are bad. Even the ones who were first impression, I'm still very happy I bought them. So yeah. And also I will leave the video down below where I'm trying the uh, creator's worst products of the year and I will let you know how I feel about them. So I hope you're having a great day. I did have a video here on the side in case you want to see something more from me. The algorithm is picking something specifically for you. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye!